Hi students, my name is Kathleen Reynolds and I'm so happy to be your teacher for reading for this spring 2023 semester. Uh, I'm looking forward to meeting you on the first day of class and this video will talk a little bit about some of the things that we will learn in class as well as um, how to use our Blackboard site for class. So let's get started. So in this reading class, we will be focusing on academic reading and improving your vocabulary in English, which will help you get ready for college classes, which require a lot of reading, a lot of reading. We'll talk about it on the first day. So that will help you meet your goals for the future, no matter what you want to study. If you want to study business or nursing or any other topic, um, you will need to do reading. So we want to help you and, and strengthen your skills in reading. So some of the things we'll do in this class is we will use our textbook, Making Connections, which is an excellent textbook for improving reading skills and strategies. So please make sure you purchase this textbook as soon as possible. You can get it at the Harper College Bookstore, which is in uh, Building F online or on Amazon. It's okay to buy a used copy. And if, you, if it comes with like an online component, I don't need that. You don't need that for my class. You can have it, but it's not necessary for my class. Um, we'll also read some small novels that help us build our ability to read more and extensively. And we'll read a longer novel together. Um, but uh, one of the choices is this book that's in the picture here, not always a Valley of Tears, but we will have two other choices. So within the first couple weeks of class, we will decide which um, novel we'll read together. So that way you'll have a little bit of opinion or input into which book would be the best um, to read. And sometimes we will be able to have online conversations in our class with other people who are learning English in other cities or even countries because that really adds to and enriches our study of English and of culture. So now I'm going to show the Blackboard site for this class um, or the, a general Blackboard site and um, this class, of course, is in person, face to face, but a lot of your homework will be done on Blackboard. So that's why I'm going to show that now. Um, and let's take a look. OK, so this is the Blackboard site for reading four. I will talk more about it during class, um, but I want to just show you now so that you would um, know how to navigate it a little bit. You will have an announcements tab. All the announcements will also go to you by email. Here we have a tab for the syllabus and schedule for our course. You can see the syllabus in PDF or Word form, and that tells the policies and procedures of our class, as well as a calendar of what we are studying when. The course materials has information that you can use in many different times in the semester. So for example, it has videos to help you submit assignments on Blackboard. It has some information about tutoring and the um, International Students Club. So it has a lot of different information. If you have a question, it might be a good place to look. Faculty information. So here you can see my email, phone number in the office, um, my office location. And these are the student help hours when I'm available um, to meet with you. I can meet with you online or in person. Um, the online link to meet with me is here. So you, this information will always be here if you ever need um, to contact me. Um, this folder called Learning Modules is where most of the information for our class will be. So every week, so first we have some resources that we can use anytime. We have a dictionary that can help us with vocabulary. We have a books to read tab that shows us about different books um, that you can read for the future that will help you um, improve your English. And we have the audio files for the readings in our book, so you can listen to them while you read if that helps you. And then every week we have a folder that provides the information and resources for the week. So every week inside the folder, you can see our topics and objectives of what we will learn, some activities, and then some assignments. So assignments are going to be due on Sundays by 1130 before the week starts. We don't have assignments due other days of the week usually. If we do have an assignment due another time during the week, I will let you know. But most of the assignments are just due 
on Sundays, okay? A lot of the homework is going to be on Blackboard. So the first um, folder inside the weekly folder is activities, and the activity folder just tells you some, um, provides some additional information. So for example, reviewing the syllabus and schedule, um, buying your books and some information about how to do that. And then some of the things that we'll start studying in class, main ideas, unit one reading one, some vocabulary, and your extensive reading book. So this is sort of a summary of the things that we learn in class. If you're ever absent, that is a great way to see what we did. Um, and then here in the assignments, those are the things you need to do. So in the first folder, let me go back actually. So here, there's nothing you need to do like turn in or give me or show me? No, but here is where you need to give me or show me things. So you will be completing reading one unit one. If you don't have your book yet, you will find the pages here as a PDF. This is optional practice. Okay, and then here you have a concept check. It's sort of like a quiz, but it's like um, some questions, online questions about the reading, reading one and main idea practice. So we will talk more about it in class, but you can feel free to look it over and get some ideas. Okay, um, then finally we have this My Grades tab and some other tabs to help you um, at Harper College or using Blackboard. So in the My Grades tab, I do keep all the grades updated pretty well or pretty quickly, so you will always be able to know what your grade is for this class. Okay, I can't wait to tell you more about our class when we meet and to meet you and, and hear about you and what you want to learn this semester. So um, please, if you have any questions, feel free to email me and let me know, and otherwise I'll see you on campus. Thank you.